All right, guys, so we're taking a look at uh, a new pair of headphones, well, earbuds, I guess, earbuds. Uh, and we haven't done a pair of earbuds in a while, but check this out, uh, 205 ratings, four and a half stars. Uh, normally, we're looking at about 40 bucks Canadian, but at time of filming, and I don't know how long this is gonna be there, uh, but you can take an extra $10. So these are coming in at like 29 bucks Canadian, four and a half stars. So these are the Putar, Putar Bluetooth 5.1 headphones, in-ear touch control, stereo, type C, 15 hours playtime with built-in mic for all kinds of sports, running workouts, black. Yeah, coming up. Okay, my friends, $30 right now. Now, I don't know if that's gonna be the price all the time, but as of now, 30 bucks. Uh, five hours of playtime, 15 hours with case, two hours fast charge. So they're not gonna be the longest. We've definitely seen earbuds that you know have over a day of total charging, but who of us really works out for more than five hours? Some of us, that's not even close to. Um, so this should give us a full day, though, of listening. Uh, professional, powerful stereo base, yeah, fast and smooth connection, yeah, smart touch controls. So we may keep this screen up there, but play, pause, next song, answer, reject, volume, uh, activate Siri. Seems to have, seems to have everything that we would want out of a pair of headphones and comfortable. So we also like that. And oh, it has game modes. Click the touch area times four to go into game mode. So you're going to get, uh, Quicker response times, basically, right? But I'm, I'm interested to see or to hear what we get for like 30 to $40 Canadian. Here they are, Putar. Putar. These are the model A20s. You guys can see that right there, A20s. You know, I think, I think that's, those are lovely. Anything on the back? Nope, just wireless A20s. Very cool. All right, let's crack them open. Looks like I need a knife. And I got my phone here, of course. We're gonna plug them into the iPhone. And uh, we'll give them a quick listen. And then we'll also plug them into uh, Filmic so that we can hear what the microphone is like. Now, these are sports headphones, so they're, you know, like most primarily gonna be used for uh, listening. But who knows, maybe you're gonna use them on a Zoom call or something like that. I like the little box, pretty simple. And they are gonna come in a fairly big case. All sport earbuds come in a big case because the earbuds just naturally are larger than your in-ear style. What else do you get? Well, you get a little manual, okay? Fonts and everything seem decent. All right, good. You get a USB-A to USB-C cable. Cool. Is that focusing on me? I don't feel like it's focusing. Hold on. There we go, now we got focus happening on the top, top camera. Better, so yeah, USB-A to USB-C. And of course we get a, a bunch of different tips just in case you need to change the sizing because sizing is important with anything that's going in your ears. And there's the case. So the case has uh, four little lights, looks like on the front, uh, putar, puter, uh, maybe a light on the back, a little charging indicator. There's your USB-C, but good size. Now, before we open these, we're gonna bring our phone over here because actually we'll do it this way so the glare is not on the phone. Um, and we're gonna go into settings and into our Bluetooth because some earbuds, headphones, as soon as they open, they go into pairing mode. So we'll find out. So open, anything. Oh, first off, you get the little green light. That's kind of nice. And I like those. Those look snazzy. Anything show up? It doesn't look like it. Let's pull one out. Now, we also want to check to see if there's any protectors. Now, it, oh yes, it does, see? It doesn't have it on the earbuds themselves, but actually on the charging case. There's a little, you guys may be able to see that, like a little blue piece that's covering. So what you probably want to do is take those off. Yep, we're good. Put them back and we may see, so they connect nice. Still anything? But, okay, green light, fully charged. Seems like it, okay. P 
pop. Ah, little red lights. See they go blue now? I wonder if they're pairing now. Yeah, see? So take the little stickers off, then, then you're ready. All right, here we go. I used to not be a fan of the sport earbud style because I was like, eh, they're larger. But if you are working out and or are just want something that you know is not going to just fall out. Yeah, sport earbuds, they, they do they do their job for sure. It's a uh, you got to get used to having something kind of flop over your ears. And sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get them in there like I'm having issues now there we go all right and I think for me the mediums are good it does say or did say let's see do I find eight connected cool we'll close these and we'll bring this up here go to my music what were we listening to uh, now playing I don't know what were we playing doesn't look like it shows anything okay Good enough. Let's go back to our normal. So telephone. Crank them up. All right. So far, I'm, I'm pleased. Definitely got some good highs for sure. Let's see how the bass kicks in. Yeah, the highs and mids are crispy. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. Now, I have definitely heard, let's see. Oh, the touch is sensitive. Now, I've definitely heard some earbuds that have a, definitely a bit more bass, but not bad, definitely crispy. They're definitely focused, I would say, more on the mids and highs, but, all right. Okay, that's not bad. Now let's go do a song that's got a little bit more bass and that's this Twisted Transistor by Korn. Oh yeah, if you're listening to rock music, you don't want that like overproduced bass punch when it's not there. Oh, they're loud. They are, they are loud. Okay, so uh, again, I would say the highs and mids are where they are most focus on. Uh, definitely a little bit of bass there, but not crazy bass, but not bad. And I think, you know, if you're, you're using these for working out, uh, you'd be very happy. They're really comfortable. Even, even the, the little ring that goes around the back of your ears. Yeah, no, I could, I could see myself wearing these like all day for sure. And I'm not going to say there's like, it's the bass is poor. I definitely without question, have heard earbuds that are bassier, for sure. Um, I'd like to hear these or see these have a little bit more bass. Now, I could play around with the equalizer to get them to boost up a little bit, but as of the way they are right now, I'd say um, mids and highs, really good. Bass, eh, they're okay, they're all right. Now, let's bring up our good friend Filmic here. And Filmic, of course, is gonna let you and I record some audio so we're just going to go into our settings here and go to our audio bluetooth microphone yeah it's got the a20 set up so that's good and then we'll just change the camera around okay so i'm going to hold that out here so what you and i are hearing right now is the microphone so we're hearing the audio that the microphone is picking up now i have it set so i'm monitoring in here and again there's a bit of a delay not huge but that's just limitation of the audio and the camera and all this kind of stuff but you guys are hearing the sound quality the mic quality that is uh being picked up from filmic so it should give you a good idea what these would sound like if you were on a zoom call or a phone call or something like that cool so let's switch back all right so uh, you guys have heard them, heard what the mic sounds like. You haven't heard them, but you've heard what the mic sounds like. Um, if that's important to you, you'll be able to tell if you think that's going to be decent enough. Uh, and uh, I've heard them in a like a more of a pop 
sounding song and also more of like a metally sounding song. And um, again, as I've said before, if you're looking for something that's a little more crispy, especially if you're like wanting to buy something, maybe you listen to podcasts and things like that, right? Audiobooks. I think these sounds funny, but I think these would sound really good because of where they seem to focus their audio range. Uh, I would say it's really strong around where like the human voice is. So it would be nice and distinct. Uh, if you're someone that listens to a lot of really bass heavy music, I'd say you would be like, ah, oh, they're not bassy enough. If you're like me and you listen to like rock music and things like that, you'll probably be okay with them. Um, so you kind of have to know which genre you like and how, how you like that bass to be like amplified. Um, other than that, super comf comfortable, uh, paired really easy. You just have to, like I said, make sure that you open them, take the little blue sticky tapes off, close them, uh, reopen them, and then they just pop up. So that, that's, that's kind of nice, nice and easy. Now, last thing is we have them here connected. If I open this and take them out, put them in there, do they automatically disconnect? Yeah, so it looks like as soon as you close the lid, they disconnect, so you're good to go. Um, if you can get these for like $30, even $40, I don't think you'll be upset by any means. For $30, they're really good. Just realize, you know, saving money is one thing. Uh, if they don't do the audio quality that you want, that's that's 30 bucks, not, not well spent. Um, so just realize, again, if you need something or want something super, super bassy, probably not them. If you're someone who likes like highs and mids, um, then I think these will be good. And they're sp sport, right? So kind of nice. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Links to these, the uh, put putter, putar uh, A20s. Yeah, not bad. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Later, my friends.